What's up, kids? Yep, today. No, not today. We're gonna take the battery from over there. We're gonna do. We're gonna put in Clyde. See if it. Uh, it's gonna fix that no start issue since it was dead. Stick around. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Speed Shop. Alright, Fab area. And uh, according to the voltmeter, I did this off camera. Yeah, I do things off camera sometimes. According to the voltmeter, we're at 12.3 battery. Now, <laughs> there's maybe a reason why. Now, we all know that Clyde's Clyde. But <laughs> I didn't go. I did not go all out on this battery. Uh, it's the economy guy. So I'm gonna get um, wrench. Put this battery in over there. You know Bonnie's in here right now because she needed some attention. Hold on a second. I've been watching these big channels. You know. Apparently, it's all you need right here. Put a battery in or something. All right, here we go. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, another gorgeous fall day, or yeah, it's fall now, I think. Yeah, it's fall now. Um, 83. I got in my Jeep after work today, and it said 103 sitting in the sun. All right. Now, you guys have seen Bill Cameron's video where he talks about Clyde being a superstar on the YouTubes. Yeah, superstar that doesn't start and has an economy battery because the person who owns him thinks he's only worth $79.99. Put this thing in this turd. See if it's going to start. Step one to putting in a hot rod battery. Make sure you have your tools sitting there from before. All right. Now both of my both of the wires are black on here. Why? Because it was the way it was built. You might say to yourself, "Well, Chad, you know, you can change that." Yeah, I can, but I didn't. Because, yeah, Clyde isn't worth the $57 or whatever it is to get new battery cables. We talked, we talked about these. Not great, but they actually did work okay for this. But you got to turn in the right direction. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, these are terrible. Don't buy these. Harbor Freight, don't sell these anymore. Okay, batteries on. Should we watch from up here? Let's go from over here. Okay, watch right here. This 
area. Battery gauge said, um, what do you think? Think it's a good start? I don't. Told you, wouldn't start. Now, you can hear it. Flies very quiet. Very quiet. Can you get? Yeah, I know. What we need to do now go in the back, check that voltage. All right, we got these. I had to go to the shop because I didn't have them. It's spicy in here. Yeah, this is the attached garage. No exhaust fan up in here. We're just gonna, yep, shake it all around. Fourteen. Put on fourteen volt. Now, we're gonna have you watch from this side because in case it's different, because it probably is. Open that up. Form is not here right now. So, here we go. I think Clyde is climbing. Uh, you know what I mean. All right, after you've stunk up your attached garage, when you're, you just, yeah. There he is. 14 volts, Clyde's doing fine. I made sure to shut the battery out this time. Mm -hmm. Now let's see if your girl's gonna start. You know, she was good yesterday. I need a bigger shop. Anybody's got a bigger shop laying around? Let me know. Cause uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn it down, you know? So, yeah. You just gotta, you know, ship it here, set it up, whatever. It's not working. Maybe we'll go over here. You know, whoever's in charge of cleaning is terrible. Miss Bonnie, you know, we're gonna take some of this stuff off because who left it up here? I don't know, somebody. Let's pump do its thing. The two.
14.5. Sweet. Okay, now that we've got mess on the floor with this. It's a brick one. Now that we've got a mess on the floor. I wonder if that's for sale. I know where it is. The guy who bought it hasn't done much with it in five years, six years, whatever it was that I sold it to him. Like literally nothing. Like, get rid of get rid of that and rebuild it. Future project, maybe. Okay, so going forward after well we gotta We have to take them both for a drive. Then maybe we can uh call it as far as for uh uh for these. No, I have to take Monty for a longer drive because um if we're overworking the alternator, we need to know that. And uh I'll make sure to bring the jump pack just in case. Or a triple A card. I don't know, triple A. I have two eleven. Two elevens and uh well ten. You know what I mean. So anyway. Drive time's next, kids. All right, so you might have said to yourself, Chad, why aren't you driving them tonight? Look at that. It's like 76 degrees, and it's uh, 10 minutes to 6 in the p.m. on today. September, late. Anyway, uh, let me show you why. Um, give me a second. See that? It's a mess. See that? It's a mess. 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 There will be no fun until my chores are done. No matter how beautiful she is. All right, kids. Did my chore. I can do fun things now. Except for I did it a little bit wrong order. I, um... Took Bonnie for a drive. Just a little one. Um, she's fantastic, and I think you all know it. But let me show you what I did. Uh, it's not done, but it's done enough to have lunch. So, hold on. Lounge park with detachment, anyway. Okay. We got a lot of stuff cleaned up. Peyton actually came out and helped, but she was. She said she her hair was messy, didn't want to be on camera. So we got a lot of stuff cleaned up. This is gonna be the end of this video. Coming up here. Still got the frame. We were able to move this over a little bit closer just to make a little bit more room for now. And found a home for the workbench. What we're gonna do here is I've got a, a belt and disc sander combo. We haven't talked about that, why there's a tire. I got a welder, I got my pipe anvil. I moved my vise from my welding cart to there. So this is gonna be basically where the, like the hand stuff is gonna happen, like hand metal forming. And that's gonna be where we're doing like the power stuff as much as we can. We still have some things to clean up, but you know what? That's good enough for today. That is beautiful and we don't need to spend it in the shop uh, working. We can maybe take this out. I hope you enjoyed this, this video with uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Um, coming up, we're going to be spending a lot more time on Creepy. Yep. Amazon's putting a notice over my screen right now saying, we found something you'd like. I bet you did. You seem to know what's going on up there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video with Bonnie and Clyde. Um, Bonnie's doing great. It's so much nicer when it's run on all eight. Yeah. Um, there'll be a couple of shorts. If you haven't already seen anyway don't forget to and and keep on magic bye